Good evening, my dears. We are back with another tarot reading. We're going to do something a little different this time, um, based on a recommendation I got, um, to do more of a open-ended card pull, not necessarily associated with, um, like, new moon setting new intentions kinds of things. We're going to do just something a little bit easier, a little bit more generic. So what I was thinking, because full moons, like we have coming in tonight, are a great time for psychic energy. Let's do a zodiac style element pull. So basically how this is going to work is I'm going to go through each element, and if your zodiac sign corresponds to it, that's your card. So that's going to be, let me see if I can get this right because I always mess it up. Um, so we'll start with the air signs, which is going to be Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. We'll go to the water signs, which is the Scorpios, the Pisces, and the Cancers. Then fire signs, which is our Aries, our Sagittarius, and our Leos. And then finally our earth signs, which is going to be our Virgos, our Taurus, and our Capricorns. Um, so that's in the order that if you were summoning elements into a circle, uh, that is the order you would summon them. So that's why we're doing it in that order. It's also the order that I uh, have my elemental jars laid out in here. Now, if you've watched some of my other videos, you may have heard me mention before, I actually have three of the four elements in my chart. The only one I don't have is fire, um, which is part of why I have the candles lit tonight to kind of bring the element in and give me a little more read, a little more to work with. Um, that's also why I'm going to be using the jars because I'm a hot mess. I am a Scorpio sun, a Virgo moon, and a Gemini rising. And people wonder why I'm a little weird. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, we're going to do air first. And I'm going to give you two options here. You can think of a yes or no question, and I'll give you the card interpretation for just a yes or a no. Or you can think of something a little bit more complicated, and I'll give you the full card breakdown. I'll do both. So whatever you're thinking of right now, for air signs, this one's going to be for you, okay? So think real hard. What are you wanting to know? What's your question? What's your burning desire? Do the the cards see it in your future. So give me that energy. Okay, air signs your card. I don't know why I'm left hand dominant when it comes to air, but I am. Um, your card is going to be. reversed <laughs> six of swords um so generally speaking yes or no question swords is a definite no um when it's reversed that could actually be translated as a yes um since it's usually a definite no but it's reversed that could mean definite yes kind of a weird thing to happen right now um, if we're going deeper than just a yes or no answer put that back there Yes, I still rely on this thing. I don't think I will ever get past it. I um, am not the best at memorizing things. Six of Swords. Journey by water, route, way, envoy, commissary, commissionary, expedient. In reversed declaration, confession, publicity. One account says that it is a proposal of love. So if you're an air sign and you're asking for something a little more than just yes or no, um, this is indicating that it's a good time for a confessional, you know, admitting your love to somebody, admitting your heart's desires. Sometimes it's as simple as saying what you really want out loud to help make it come true. That's all there is to it. Just admitting you want it out loud. So that's our air signs taken care of. We'll go ahead and flip to water. I'm going to shuffle these around a little bit every time, just for the randomness and for the fun card noises. Thank you. 
big Scorpio energy. Also, my Pisces, my Cancers. Actually, my grandfather is a Cancer. He and I are decently close, but we also tend to butt heads over the smallest things, which I think makes sense because we're both water lines. So that's always fun. <sighs> this one should be the easiest for me. I am who I am. Okay. Water signs, we're going with... Over here, this one. Ooh, we have judgment. So for yes or no questions, um, <laughs> the cardinal cards, the major arcana, generally is kind of a haha good luck um, when it comes to yes or no questions. Um, there's a lot of open-ended interpretation of these when it comes to yes or no questions, so let's see what the fall meaning is, and we'll see if we can't come up with anything for a yes or no scenario. Um, but normally, if you get a major arcana when you're asking yes or no, the answer's just not that simple. So let's see here. I mean, judgment should be pretty easy, right? <laughs> But we're gonna see what this says in case it's more than what I'm thinking because it very well could be more than what I'm getting right now. Yep, change of position, renewal, outcome. So yeah, pretty much what I was thinking. Um, judgment, change of position, renewal, an outcome. What you're asking yes or no to right now is something that you have been wanting or working toward for a while. You're asking, is it happening for me? You're asking, am I doing this right to get it for myself? I think that's really what you're asking right now. So this is telling me that the outcome isn't clear. It's not as simple as, yes, you're getting what you want, or no, you're not getting what you want. Because water signs, we, we don't do things halfway. We tend to be complicated. You know, wide as the ocean and just as deep. So everything that we do, we're thinking 10 steps into it. We're not just thinking yes or no. We're thinking yes and or no but. So this is telling me that there will be an outcome soon it's going to be complicated, and it may not be the simple answer that you're looking for. But that's not always a bad thing. Personally, this makes a lot of sense for me right now. There we go, on to the next. All right, fire. This is the hard one. This is what I don't have in my chart. But my grandma's an Aries, and I love her to death. My grandma and I get along so, 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 so well. Um, both my grandparents, I get along with them famously. Um, also, my little sister is a fire sign, which I haven't really gotten to spend time with her, but from when we've talked and stuff, and when I've talked to her with my dad, long story, love her to death. Doesn't matter, I haven't spent that much time with her, I would do anything for her. Um, so... I mean, fire signs though, tend to be pretty straightforward. I know my grandma doesn't mince words when it comes to anything. She's super nice, super polite, probably the sweetest lady you'll ever meet. But she's also not going to beat around the bush. If she has something to say, she's going to say it. She'll say it nicely, but she will say it. So let's find that energy. policy, straightforward, passionate, energetic, some of the most loyal friends you could ever find, but you stab them in the back and you might as well dig your own grave. Fantastic energy. And we're there. All right, my fire sign. 
we're getting. This one. Oh, we're in reverse again. I think my deck is mixed up because half my cards are in reverse, half of them aren't. Eight of Cups. This is the design for Cups. So Cups generally means, yes, you will get what you're seeking. Um, it will come to you naturally, so not a lot of extra work needed. Um, so if you're on a yes or no question, which if I know half of you, you are, um, yes, it's going to come to you, and you're not going to have to try too hard for it. So stay the path. You're doing great. If we go the more complex questions, the Eight of Cups in reverse is going to symbolize... Oh, excellent. Great joy happiness and feasting so the eight of cups reversed is actually super positive so no matter what aries you're looking good right now everything's coming up for you makes sense we just had the aries new moon a couple weeks ago so you are in your element you are in your season this is when you are the strongest fire signs are on it right now not much else to say about that all good things. Okay. Last but not least, we have Earth. This one actually might be harder for me than Fire because I'm a Virgo Moon. Now your Moon's usually your your second personality, kind of that hidden part that you keep to you. And TMI, my mom is a Virgo, right? A uh, Sun, and me being a Virgo Moon. I don't like that part of me because there are so many things that I did not get along with her personality and my personality when I was younger. We were always butting heads over everything because we're just so different. And I have a lot of that inner turmoil in myself in the same regard. Um, because as much as I like to try to not be like her, sometimes I slip and I end up being exactly like her, and that bothers me to no end. Um, so it's hard for me to open up to that side of myself. Um, I try to do a lot of shadow work with my Virgo side um, to try to let it out a little bit. There's a lot of positive traits to being an Earth sign, you know, dependable, practical, uh, being very reliable in a pinch. I do know some other earth signs that I adore. Just me personally with that part of my history, and it, it's hard for me to come to terms with and get in touch with that side of myself. But let's give it a go. Let's dive in. sacrificing something else for what it is you're asking for. So be cautious with that. You can still get it, but you have to be prepared that it may not be exactly everything you wanted or you're going to lose something else in the process. So you kind of have to determine, is it really worth it for you to be asking for this? So deeper meanings, anything beyond a yes or no. This one actually wasn't that bad when I was doing it for the reading that I pulled it in. I don't think. Eh, a little bit. 
Um, oh yeah, because it was reversed last time, I remember now. Okay, so generally, it's the surety of possessions cleaving to that which one has. Gifts, legacy, or inheritance. Um, so your more complicated question, you're probably asking about something to do with the material plane, if I had to guess. Um, because this is all about inheritance, things that you own, things that you already have, that could also be like relationships you already have, that could be just your position in life, um, but generally speaking this card represents those things that you can take hold of, which is kind of a weird one for anything more complicated than a yes or no question. Hmm. Take a careful look at what you're trying to get right now. What you have versus what you're aiming for. Because I'm sensing, since in a yes-no scenario, this is usually a no, that you might be holding on too tight to something or you might be reaching for something that's going to burn you when you get it. I, I'm getting cautionary energy right now with this one. I'm not trying to be overly negative. Just make sure what you're reaching for is for you. And it's not something that you want because everyone else has it or because you think it's going to magically make your life so much better. Um, because things can be deceiving like that. So ruminate on it a little bit more. I'm rooting for you. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. But just in case, think about it a little bit more before you go get it. Because there's a lot of things you look at and you think, oh, I guess my life would be so much better if I had this, or if I could do this, or if this person was in my life, everything would be so much better. And it might seem that way, but that's not always going to be the case. So make sure you just think extra, extra hard about the energy that you're expending to make this happen. Okay? But here is our final result. For our elements, our air signs, our water signs, our fire signs, and our earth signs. I hope you enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun for me. I like doing different things sometimes, really embracing the energies right now to see what we can get. But as always, I hope you have a wonderful night. Feel free to stop by at any time. I'm here for you. Comment below if you would like me to do a different type of reading or a special reading just for you. I'm more than happy to. It would be so much fun. A small update. Um, I actually will be moving here very soon, um, so content might get a tiny bit less frequent, a little bit more sporadic. I know it's been a couple weeks um, since my last video, and I'm really sorry about that, but, you know, life happens. Gotta move. Um, so it might take me a little bit to get some more really thorough and good content for you guys. Um, I may be able to squeeze out a couple of my guided meditations because those don't require as much camera work. Um, so I will do my best. Okay? Love you guys. Have a good night.